What if I told you one of Australia's most notorious serial killers was a woman? Enter Catherine Burney, a name synonymous with terror and dread in the annals of Australian crime history. Alongside her partner, David Burney, she played a pivotal role in the gruesome Moore House murders. Their reign of terror in 1986, marked by abduction, torture and murder, left an indelible scar on the face of humanity. This is the chilling story of Catherine Burney, a name that sent shivers down the spine of Australia. Catherine Burney's path to monstrosity started with a seemingly normal life. Growing up in a suburban neighbourhood of Perth, Australia, Catherine came from a large family of six. Her parents, both hard-working individuals, struggled to provide for their children, which led to a rough and unstable childhood for Catherine. This unstable environment became the breeding ground for the darkness that would later envelop her life. When she was just 14, she met David Burney, a boy from the neighborhood. Their connection was immediate and intense, a bond formed out of shared hardships and mutual understanding. As teenagers, they found solace in each other's arms, a refuge from their tumultuous lives. Little did they know that this relationship would spiral into a deadly partnership. This seemingly ordinary girl next door and her troubled boyfriend were about to morph into Australia's most infamous serial killer duo. But as they say, appearances can be deceiving and a nightmare was slowly brewing. 1986, a year that would forever be stained with the horrors of the Morehouse murders. This was the year Catherine Burney and her partner David spiralled into a harrowing spree of violence and death. The couple, fueled by a shared sadistic pleasure, plunged into the depths of human depravity, their actions painting a chilling portrait of evil. As the year unfolded, four unsuspecting women found themselves ensnared in the Burney's twisted web. The duo's method was as systematic as it was horrifying. They would abduct their victims, subjecting them to unimaginable terror and pain. Each woman was raped, tortured, and ultimately murdered. A chilling testament to the Burney's complete disregard for human life. Yet, as the body count rose, so did the suspicions. Whispers of more victims began to circulate. Dark rumors that suggested the true scope of the Burney's reign of terror might extend beyond the four confirmed deaths. This was not just a tale of murder, this was a narrative of monstrous cruelty. A saga of two individuals who reveled in the suffering of their victims. The Burney's horrifying acts were not just crimes, they were a grotesque display of power, a testament to their belief that they could defy the laws of humanity and escape the grasp of justice. Their reign of terror seemed unstoppable until fate intervened. The escape of a fifth intended victim marked the beginning of the end for Catherine Burney. This unexpected turn of events was the catalyst that set the wheels of justice in motion. The survivor, against all odds, managed to flee the House of Horrors, leaving behind the terror she had endured. Her escape led the authorities straight to the Burney's doorstep, catching them in their web of heinous crimes. The duo was promptly arrested. Their reign of terror abruptly brought to an end. Charges were swiftly brought against them. The evidence was overwhelming, the crimes undeniable. Their capture was a sigh of relief for the community who had lived in fear for so long. The crimes of the Burnies were no longer a dark secret hidden behind closed doors, but exposed for the world to see. Their downfall was a chilling reminder of the depths of human depravity. But justice had a long, winding road to traverse. Catherine Burney's sentence was as chilling as her crimes, life without the possibility of parole. This was the stern judgment of the court a reflection of the unspeakable horrors she and her partner had unleashed upon four innocent women in 1986. Her crimes left a trail of devastation, with the victims' families forever scarred by the loss of their loved ones. But Catherine Burney's story didn't end with her imprisonment. It echoed across the wider Australian community, sparking intense debates and discussions. The case became a focal point in conversations about the dynamics of male and female crime partnerships, shattering traditional stereotypes and prompting a re-evaluation of societal assumptions. Moreover, her sentencing reignited discussions on the treatment of life sentences in the justice system, leading to a deeper contemplation on the concept of justice itself. 
Catherine Burney's story serves as a grim reminder of the depths humanity can sink to, but also the relentless pursuit of justice.